Is this working? Yes, we're good. Great, let's do this. My name is Michelle Ura. My name is Maxim Klopstein. My name is Heather Christensen. My name is Cheyenne Barden, and my Instagram handle is at shy.barden. My Instagram handle is Silver Party Pants. I know. I'm a Maxim. M M K S E M. I'm Heather. Three M's. I am 24 years old. 29 years old. I'm 19 years old. I am 25 years old. I am originally from Germany and I lived in England for a few years to study. I live in Bern in Switzerland. I am from Houston, Texas and I am currently living in Seattle, Washington. I'm from Minnesota but I currently live in Los Angeles, California. How do you feel today? Today I feel good. Pretty good actually. The sun's been shining. I feel pretty good. I'm pretty good. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's a shame I can't go and experience it for myself. What do you do for a job? I just work as an illustrator and animator, also at a coffee roaster. I make coffees. I am a freelance illustrator slash YouTuber and I also work locally in Seattle as an actress. I do sort of like a gap year, then I will study next year. I work as an illustrator for a YouTube channel called I Has Cupquake, which is super cool because I just get to draw all day and the kind of theme of the brand is really cute. I, I just get to draw like cute stuff all day. I mostly design product for my online shop. I will spend a couple weeks designing product for my shop and then order it. Mostly I start with an idea or something which interests me. Mostly it has something to do with humans or nature. I like to draw and paint all the time. Mostly in sketchbook. I have filled over 60 sketchbooks. They're, they're quite tiny so I can I can bring them along. But also on canvases just like you can see here and there. When it's personal I probably just doodle on my sketchbook so it's quite traditional. For clients I like to work digitally because that makes it easier to change things. I use a Wacom tablet and I draw in Photoshop and I've been doing that since college. I guess so like 10 years now. Ooh, I'm old. What's been the biggest hurdle in your career so far? I feel like I've been pretty lucky. You know, there's been little bumps in the road here and you know, crying my eyes out, calling my mom, but nothing really major. Probably applying for art school. I had to do a portfolio for that and that was very exhausting, but I really pushed myself pretty hard and it's probably my biggest, my biggest hurdle. I think just starting as an illustrator can be quite tough. You know, you're your own boss. It's great, but equally that means if you're not doing things, things are just not going to get done. I would say that the biggest hurdle in my career has probably been my imposter syndrome and sort of my, my doubts against myself. I still, even to this day, have a hard time taking myself seriously as like a freelance illustrator or like a freelance artist just because I feel like even still I'm not good enough or I'm not doing it right or there's something that I'm missing. I am probably the greatest hurdle that I have yet to completely overcome. I'm making progress and obviously I'm making steps but it's uh, it's um, it's weird to be kind of like your own greatest enemy. What's the biggest accomplishment in your career so far? I would say, um, mm. So I guess since there hasn't been many hurdles, I feel accomplished by the smallest thing. Even just posting a drawing on Instagram and having one person leave a comment that makes me happy is an accomplishment. I don't know, every commission feels like an accomplishment if I'm honest. Cause sometimes I get self-doubt, you know? Sometimes I get these phases where a commission comes in and I'm like, what if this is the last thing you'll ever receive? So everything that goes out into the world feels like an accomplishment. I won second prize in my category in the Fumetto International Comic Festival. My biggest accomplishment is probably just the process I, like my inner process I did until now. And I consider that as an accomplishment as well. I would say that um, my biggest accomplishment is probably that my business has grown very quickly and rather significantly. I feel like that I have handled that growth pretty well. I've brought on another employee, which is very cool and exciting. I think I really had no choice but to be an artist. I watched my mom paint and draw and my great grandpa was a sign painter, you know, painting beautiful lettering in gold leaf on people's windows, you know. So it's kind of, it's in the bloodline. So I never really planned on being a professional 
illustrator. I graduated college with my BFA in acting and I always thought that like my most sort of prominent thing would be acting but I've been drawing for pretty much my whole life it made me really want to improve and work on my art in a bunch of different capacities it made me take it a lot more seriously kind of a passion and a career that sort of snuck up on me when I was 12 years old I saw a picture a drawing of Rihanna on Instagram so I wanted to do that I was so proud that I said that's that's what I want to do and I never stopped. I don't know if that sounds corny, but I feel like it hasn't really been a choice. I like how immediate images are. I use illustration as a way to make sense of the world. So when you think about it, everything starts with an image. You can decide to not read a text. You can decide not to listen, but an image is gonna hit straight away and you can convey so much through an image so you've got you know feelings and information being able to visualize that feels pretty special what are your future goals as an artist or illustrator just that ultimate goal is to have an animated series i don't want to animate it myself because animation is really hard there's a lot of jobs in animation obviously character designers storyboard artists the goal is to have it be my characters speaking and laughing on screen. I want to make a living out of it. I just want to constantly force myself out of the comfort zone because I'm not where I want to be yet to suggest a feeling in someone else over my art and even help to inspire other people to express themselves creatively as well. I really want to work on some zines and eventually a children's book. My partner is a writer and so we wanted to create a children's book together. I would love to have my own studio space so that I don't have to work out of my apartment. Um, I've got a list physically written down of people I still want to work for. Kind of like a bucket list for illustration. I'm not going to say who they are because in case that doesn't work out, I'm just going to pretend I never wanted that to happen anyway. I would also like to branch out a bit more and just kind of try everything. There's so much to explore. Very exciting. How do you think this current crisis has affected other artists, including yourself? So the current crisis has definitely affected makeup artists. A lot of my friends are makeup artists. They work on production sets, shows, things that are just not happening right now. You know, nobody's filming anything, nothing's being made. But for me, my job has stayed the same which is nice. Some artists have problems getting commissions, so they don't really get money because they work from project to project. For me, that's not a problem. I still live at home. So I'm really in a privileged situation. I mean, it's affected me in terms of, like I said, it's just totally depleted my creativity and motivation to make stuff. A lot of artists I know don't actually do it full time. And so they've lost their sort of like full time gig and now are maybe having to make the incredibly rough and sudden transition into doing full-time freelance artwork which is very hard. I feel like I'm quite lucky because the editorial things I'm doing are still existing. People that are dependent on exhibitions or performances or anything like that I think they're gonna be struggling because those things just don't exist at the moment. Do you think things are gonna get better? I do. I would hope that this would be a sort of instigator for great systemic change. However, with the current administration in the United States, I highly doubt that. At least for climate change at the moment, it's quite good because not as much people are flying around. In Switzerland, where I live, the curve is already flattening again. So yes, it will get better. I don't know, but equally, I think everyone's just kind of been really supportive of each other. Things are happening so fast as well. and. We haven't been in a situation like this before, so. You know, I have to hope that things will get better. I mean, they have to, right? <laughs> they will get better, yeah. How can people support their favorite artists, illustrators during this time? The best thing you can do to support them is if you can't purchase a commission or a piece of merch from them, one of the biggest things that you can do is just like or comment on their Instagram posts or their Twitter posts or their YouTube videos or whatever they're making. That's really helpful. It's also really nice if you share the artists on your story, whatever, I do that often myself. You might help a person very much just by spending not that much money, but a little bit. People are probably quite happy if you, you know, buy their prints, buy their work, message them really, ask them directly, just support them. They're probably going to tell you how you can support them yourselves. I would say that if your favorite creator has a Patreon, absolutely support them on their Patreon. I think that it can be a very sort of accessible way to direct directly support the people that you love and care about. If they have online stores, buy from the online stores. If you do not obviously have the financial means to do any of those things, don't feel the pressure to do so. I think as long as you continue engaging with their work 
and um, potentially sharing it with friends or just making sure that like you just stay engaged and you remain a part of that the community that they've built and so I think that's a very valuable way in which you can support both financially and just like in a more sort of morale sense. Do you pray for yourself? Oh, this is awkward. If you want to follow me, all my social medias are um Heather, free M's, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Etsy. You can find me on Instagram. That's my main platform where I share my work. If you like cute, cozy art, I do have an online store. It's CheyenneBarton.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Shy.Barton. Uh, I also make really fun YouTube videos also at Cheyenne Barton. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> it's still very awkward at Solar Party Pals. Stay healthy. Stay at home. Bye. Bye. Stay well and safe. Stay brilliant. Bye. Bye, people.